Hello grade 9, welcome to my YouTube channel. Lesson 5, Equations Transformable to Quadratic Equation. So before we discuss this lesson, let us first have our review. Direction, add, subtract the following. So from this, we need to know the concept of our LCD or the least common denominator. So if we are going to add rational expressions, so we are going to take a look at our denominators. So for number 1, our denominators are 3 and 2. For number 2, we have 3x and 2. And for number 3, we have x plus 2 and x plus 1. So let's have the solution for number 1. So if we will have 2x over 3 plus x over 2. So we need to look at our denominator. So our LCD here is 3 and 2. So, we are going to get the multiples of 3 and 2. So, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. Then, for 2, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So, from this, we are going to get the least common multiple. So, saan sila pareho? So, we have 6. So, sa 6 sila, pinakamaliit na pareho. So, therefore, our LCD is 6. So, our LCD is 6. Now, how are we going to solve for this? So, from this, we are going to divide. So, 6 Divided by 3, then multiply it by our numerator times. Okay, so that will be 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. Then times 2x. So we have 2 times 2x, that is equal to 4x. So our first here, numerator is, 4x. Then our sign, plus. Then for the next one, 6 divided by 2, then times the numerator. So we have 6 divided by 2 equals 3 times the numerator x. So that is 3 times x, that is 3x. So, we have 3x. So, solving this, so we have 4x plus 3x, so we have 7x over 6. And this is our answer. Solution for number 2. So, if we have 5 over 3x minus 1 half, so that is equal to. Now, take a look at our denominators. So, we have 3x and 2. So, yung iba, ang ginagawa ay minumultiply ang denominator. So, if we are going to multiply our denominator for us to get the LCD, so we will have 3x times 2. So, 3x times 2. Then, we are going to divide. So, 3x times 2 divided by 3x. Then, the answer is 2. Then, multiply it by 5. So that will be 3x times 2 divided by 3x. 
So, we can cancel. So, the answer is 2. Then, multiply it by 5. As the numerator. So, 2 times 5, that is equal to 10. 10 minus... So, this denominator divided by 2 times 1. So, that will be 3x times 2 equals divided by 2 equals, so we can cancel 2, so the remaining is 3x times 1, so the answer is 3x. So, 10 minus 3x. And as you can see, we cannot combine 10 by negative 3x. So, therefore, our answer is 10 minus 3x over 6x. 3 times 2 is 6. So, this is your answer. Then, for number 3, 1 over x plus 2 plus 2 over x plus 1. So, we have two different denominator. So, we will just copy the two denominator. x plus 2, x plus 1. Okay. Then, we are going to divide. Divide. Then, we are going to multiply. So, we have x plus 2 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. So, we can cancel. So, the remaining is x plus 1. Ta, okay. Then, we're going to multiply it by 1. So, the answer is x plus 1. So, we have x plus 1. Then plus, okay, so we have, we have to divide, then we have to multiply. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So we can cancel, so the remaining is x plus 2 times 2. Then using distributive property of multiplication over addition, so 2 times x, that is 2x, then 2 times 2, that is 4. So the answer is 2x plus 4. So we have plus 2x plus 4. Then we are going to combine the similar terms in our Denominate a uh, numerator. So we will have x plus 2x, that is 3x. Then 1 plus 4, that is 5. So 3x plus 5. All over x plus 2 times x plus 1. Or you can simplify this using FOIL method. So your answer will be 3x plus 5 over, using FOIL method, you have x squared plus 3x plus 2. And this is your answer. Equations transformable to quadratic equations. So, let us discuss how this rational, algebra, rational equation can be transformed into quadratic equation. Then, after transforming it, we are going to solve for the solution. So, again, for, for, the, for the first step, we have to identify our LCD. So, from this, we have three denominators. So, we have 3, x, and 12. So, we are going to look for the LCD. So, let's list 3, x, and 12. So, we have so multiple. So, we have 3, 6. 9, 12, 15, and so on. Then for our x, so we have x times x, that is x squared. 
times x, that is x cubed, and so on. Then for 12, so we have 12, we have 24, 36, and so on. Now, if we have the variable, napaka-imposible na magkakaroon siya ng common multiples. So, kapag variable, ito na yung ating kukuhanin. Then, we're, talk, we're looking for the multiples of 3 and 12. So, saan sila magkapareho na pinakamaliit? So, that is 12. So, therefore, our LCD is 12, then the variable x. So, 12x. Now, alam na natin ngayon ang LCD. So, ang gagawin natin, we're just going to copy. Okay? So, let me remove this. We are going to copy our given. So, we have x over 3 plus 1 over x equals 19 over 12. Then, we are going to multiply both sides by 12x. By 12x. Multiply it by our LCD. Then, we'll be having 12x times x, that is 12x squared over 3. Then, plus distributive, 12x times 1, that is 12x over x equals so we have 12x times 19 so we have 12x times 19 all over 12 so pwedeng hindi na siya multiply yung 12 times 19 kasi para makita nyo how we can cancel it then let's divide 12 divided by 3 that is 4x squared Plus, we can cancel x plus 12. That is equal to, okay, 12x divided by 12, we can cancel 12. So, the remaining is, x times 19 is 19x. Then, we have to rewrite this in standard form. So, for our standard form, we're going to take a look at the negative of neg uh, the additive inverse of 19x. So, the additive inverse is negative 19. So, that will become 4x squared plus 12 minus the additive inverse 19x equals 19x minus 19x. So, that will become 4x squared. Rearrange the terms. Minus 19x plus 12 equal to 0. So, this is now your quadratic equation. We have 4x squared minus 19x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, let us apply factoring. So, what are the factors? So, we have 4x times x and for positive 12 so we have negative 3 and negative 4 so let us see so we have 4 times x is 4x squared 4 times negative 4 is negative 16x then negative 3 times x is negative 3x when we move when we add that's negative 19x the negative 3 times negative 4, that is positive 12. So, our factor is correct. Then, we are going to equate this to 0. So, 0 product property that will become 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, additive inverse. So, we have 4x minus 3 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. So, we have 4x. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Equals 0 plus 3 is 3. So, 4x plus 0, that is 4x. Equals 3. 
Divide both sides by 4. So, your x is equal to 3 fourths. x sub 1. And for uh, x sub 2, additive inverse ng negative 4 is positive 4 equal 0 plus 4. So, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So, x plus 0 equals 0 plus 4 is 4. So, we have x equals 4. So, your x sub 2 is x equals 4.